All right, now that we've run into normal CDF just a little bit, we're going to hit normal CDF again later on, but we've, we've learned the gist of it. Now it's time for us to use the other normal function that we're going to need, which is inverse norm, I-N-V-N-O-R-M. All right, now the thing to remember about inverse norm is it always, always, always uses the left tail probability, right? It can't do anything else. All right, so let's look here. First thing I want is the 12th percentile. Find the 12th percentile for the standard normal curve. Since it's standard, I'm going to be looking for a z-score here. Now let me go to my calculator. Second, distribution. I'm going to move you out of the way. Okay, and then I want inverse norm. See it right there, number three? So you can just press three, or you could go down to it and press down, down, and then enter. That's fine. Now it wants the left tail probability. But a percentile, by definition, means, like, if you're in the 12th percentile, that means 12% are below you, right? So you got to just type in point, 0 0.12, close parentheses, enter. There you go. Z equals negative 1.17. Easy as that. Five. There we go. All right, now what about this guy? What separates the middle 92%? All right, I can't really draw it um, on this particular program, but if the middle is 92%, then what's in the two tails, right? 8%, because the whole curve's got to make one. But if the, if the two tails together are 8%, then what's each tail individually? 4%, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do inverse norms. So second, distribution, number three, but I'm going to do point zero. Oh Four, right? Half of the eight percent that would have been the complement of ninety-two percent. Ninety-two percent in the middle, eight percent in both tails, so four percent in single tails, right? All right, so four percent. Enter. There it is, negative one point seven five. Now that's the left-hand side one, but there's two scores here. I mean, if you're cutting off the middle, you're going to have a z on the left, which would be negative one point seven five. And then you're going to have a z on the right. Now I know what you're thinking. It's positive 1.75. That's true. It is. Um, the reason you can tell it's that is because the normal curve is symmetric, right? But how could you have found it with the calculator? Um, you're going to need this. So you do second distribution inverse norm, or I just did second enter because I know it's inverse norm. And then okay, let's think about this. If it's four percent on the left tail, what's in the right tail? Four percent, right? So what's to the here? Let me let me see this picture. So if this is four percent, pretend that little blue bit is four percent. Then what's all of this over here? Well, you got your four percent plus your ninety-two percent in the middle, which would make a total of ninety-six percent. In other words, one take away four percent is ninety-six percent. So I'm going to go here and type ninety-six. Notice, look, four percent, ninety-six percent. What do they add up to? one, right? Because the area under the whole curve is one. All right, so now I press enter. Bing! It's positive 1.75. All right, that's going to be really important to you later on, so keep that little trick that we just did in mind. Next, last but not least, what about z sub 0.15? This is going to become important to you in chapter 10. Okay, both of these. Um, this one and this one, b and c are chapters 9 and 10, kind of I'm previewing that. All right, now the thing about a subscript like this, and they're writing it right here, is that it always means the area in the right tail. But if you remember, inverse norm only takes the area in the left tail, no matter what. So what you have to do is you have to do second, inverse norm, or I could have done second enter, whatever. And I want 1 minus 0.15, which is 0.85, right? Or if you don't believe me here, you could just do this way. 1 minus 0 0.85. That'll work too. Oh my gosh, I did it wrong. 0 0.15, I'm sorry. 0 0.15, enter. Or, here, let me do it again, just so you can see. Second, enter. 0 0.85. Delete, delete. There you go. You can see. Same thing. Okay, so you're saying, look, if this area in the tail is 15%, then this whole bit is 85%, which means that that z-score is equal to, oops, that's going to be out down there, 1.036. All right, see you here next time.